Play Show video podcast where we do this every day for our potty people, our potty peeps, because we love you, man. Thank you so much. I mean, there are people that listen to uh, the Wally Show all over the world thanks to uh, the podcast. And so when we're doing Pledge Drive like we are for Way FM right now, it's not a normal show. And so we weren't posting podcasts. So we decided to give you a video podcast and just some stuff that uh, Katie has uh, dug up and we're going to discuss and have a little fun with it. But, but by the way, if you want to support the ministry of Way FM, which enables us to do things like this video podcast, you can easily do so at wayfm.com slash donate. So thanks so much for all that you do and for uh, listening to this here show and this podcast. What do you got, Katie Rose? Uh, The first one, so we're getting into Easter season, which means peep season. Oh They're my everywhere. goodness! I just polished off a whole pack of peeps the did other day. You really? That's I did. Gross. Yeah, and my daughter comes down and she goes, "Really, really, the whole package?" I'm like, "I'm sorry." I just got like yellow dust all over my <laughs> it mouth. It wasn't me. Yeah, it was just I was in a cloud of yellow <laughs> dust and shame. Do you do like all the different ones now, or do you like just get the classic? Peeps? I'm a classic yellow peep guy. Don't even waste my time with all that other nonsense and bunnies and blue things and green <laughs> things. Give me the yellow peeps. That's all I want. Well, apparently peeps. Was on the rough for a little while financially, so they decided to pour a bunch of money into marketing. Where it. else would we get uh, sugar and marshmallows? <laughs> <laughs> They're the only people that can give that to us. So First, to- the Twinkie. <laughs> I know, and now the Peeps. What is? I don't want to live in this world. <laughs> <laughs> but they actually said now they're back and doing really well. They're posting double digit growth now. Nice. That's because you got people like me that'll sit there on a couch and polish off a whole pack that's meant for a bunch of children during Easter. <laughs> they're probably the ones behind like all the YouTube videos of putting them in the microwave. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. See, I want to see if the growth of the peep follows the growth of the microwave. Maybe so. Yeah, because they like explode, don't they? Yeah. Like they get yeah. like ten times. <laughs> We should try that at your house. <laughs> <laughs> um, Us Magazine are doing reports about what's happening with The View because they're changing a bunch of people's contracts. Joy's not coming back. Oh, Joy Behar. Oh, yeah. really? Um, the one that they're talking about now is actually Elizabeth Hasselback. She's not returning, but that doesn't seem like it's her choice. Oh, really? Like they're going to push her out? Yeah, and it has to do, they were saying that she's too extreme right wing and the li- the viewer doesn't like her. You know what? No, I don't know about that. I think The View doesn't like her. I don't know about the viewer, <laughs> you know, because she does ruffle feathers and because she represents something that most of those people uh, don't identify with. I have been the right wing person on a crazy liberal show, like when I was working in mainstream radio, and like the things that they thought were just so crazy right wing, like, oh yeah, I, I actually don't think we should uh, have abortions. What? You know, <laughs> like, no, I actually don't think it's a, like that crazy of an idea, you know, and, and just things like that. Yeah, I think our government should should be a little bit more fiscally responsible and uh, not be quite as big. What? No, we want entitlement program. Like It's like really? you punched their children. Yeah, I mean, it's like, <laughs> seriously, guys? You guys are insane. And, like, I was so hard to live in that world. I hated it, man. So maybe she'll get off of that show and just have a breather. Because you just felt, I felt like, and these are people I worked with, but I was always on the defense for everything I thought because I was the crazy right-wing Christian. It's like, I could say, like, peeps. Oh, I love yellow peeps. Oh, of course you do. I bet you want to save us all now, too. No, I just like, I like peeps. I'm not trying to force my religion on you. I just want to talk about peeps for and a minute. Easter candy, really? Yeah, exactly. That did. Easter, I knew it would come back to Jesus dying for me. Yeah, and how is that a bad thing? You know? um, it looks like they're pretty close to closing a deal with Brooke Shields being the permanent co-host now. Oh, that's an interesting choice. Huh. Uh, well. They're gonna spend a lot. They're gonna spend a lot of money waxing them eyebrows. <laughs> she has the biggest eyebrows I've ever seen. You guys notice that? Come on, Katie is a girl. You had to have noticed that. Yeah, a yeah. little. <laughs> she has two giant caterpillars on her head. Fortunately, they never meet, which is good. They did it one time when she was younger. They were really close. Uh, but they like. Uh, like <laughs> you giant. bring your hands up to show it. Well, yeah, that's how they are. They're, they're like getting this. Close, sir. Here, come here for a second, Katie. I want to show you. Come here for a second. This is not gonna end. No, up. come here for. Come over. <laughs> a hairy Co- thing and you called me over. I I'm know. sorry. It's funnier with you, though. Come over here. So come over here to my camera. I'm sorry if you can't see this if you're just listening to the audio version, so make sure you check this out at allwally.com. Uh, okay, so, Brooke, uh, look in the camera. Okay. Like, you have little eyebrows, but, like, Thank hers you. are, like, big oh. chunks of eyebrows like that. But I want to see what you would look like with Brooke Shield eyebrows. No, let me use my shark. No. <laughs> 
didn't even see it coming. Dad, come it. She should know me better than this. <laughs> I should. <laughs> what? Come over there? Okay. <laughs> uh, I think she might actually be good. I don't know if she's as liberal as the others. Uh, I think but it's she good might to not... have someone who balances out, though. Yeah. Oh, you need the other voice. Maybe she's the other voice, but just not as off-putting. I don't know. I don't know enough about her politics because I get lost in the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a guy driving a truck and he ended up hopping the curb, slamming into another car in a parking lot, and it set off a chain. And so it ended up being a five car pile up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, they ended up, like, of course, doing the whole sobriety test with him. And he actually blamed it on a brain freeze from a 7 Eleven slurpee. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> <laughs> the cops just said that they had to take his word for it, but no one was actually injured in the crash. Yeah. I was reading this and I thought for a minute, I'm like, what do you mean take their word for it? Have him stick out his tongue. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's solved. <laughs> At least touch it. If it's cold, you know he's on the level. If it's bright yeah. red or blue, yeah. he's honest. You're like, dude, I can't take a sobriety test. I got brain freeze. <laughs> I can't even stand up right now. Oh, my goodness. I saw I saw a video. I was watching some video show uh, over the weekend, and they had a video of a cop trying to administer a breathalyzer test to this guy, and it's like this long, clear thing. I've never had to take one. So uh, I don't know what they uh, looked like, but it's this long, clear thing with like a little, uh, you know, spigot at the end of it. And this guy Sounds was like a juice box. Yeah. <laughs> this guy was so hammered. They give him the breathalyzer test and he tries to drink the breathalyzer <laughs> test. Like, dude, if you are trying to drink a breathalyzer test, you're you're wasting. The cop <laughs> don't loses bother. it. Yeah. The cop, lo- the cop starts <laughs> laughing so hard. You see the cop walk out of frame. Like, bent over, like I can't believe that just happened. Uh, it's like, OK, I feel bad. That guy's a train wreck. Oh. Well, I guess that's going to do it, huh? Is that that's all the stories? Yeah. Well, there you go. Those were good ones. Good video podcast well, good. today. Let me draw on your eyebrows, please. <laughs> that would make, that would, you know what, Katie? I know we you like. We are interns. I know, no, no. I know that you like the show to be great. Yes. Right I now, do. it was good. Drawing eyebrows <laughs> on you with Sharpie would make it great. <laughs> I think people would understand that. If you want to see Katie with eyebrows uh, drawn on with Sharpie, uh, feel free to hit us up like Facebook.com. If you get enough comments, we can do it next podcast for tomorrow. Oh, I love it. There she goes. This is the girl that was going to let us throw darts while she held the dart. (laughs) I love this girl. So five is considered enough? Do we all agree? One is considered enough at this point. All right. Well, there you go. Thanks again uh, for being a potty and a video potty. Uh, This is a lot of fun doing this. And remember, you can always support the station that enables this to happen. That's WayFM at WayFM.com slash donate.